Welcome to the Hydro 2.0 instructional video. This updated version of Hydro is made to be user-friendly and easy to use. You can search for data by using the interactive map by creating a bounding box around your study area, your study period, data collection, science keyword, platform, instrument, project, or a combination of all of these. There are a series of icons associated with each data set. For example, if you click on the dataset name, it will take you to the dataset's landing page. The picture icon takes you to the browse images available, if there are any, for the dataset. The down arrow takes you to the data files available to download. The list icon is similar to the down arrow, except you are able to narrow down which file is right for you based on the file size or date. If you make a mistake, just click Clear All Filters. Finally, the shopping cart allows you to download the entire dataset. Let's try an example. Let's say my study area is in North Carolina. Here is a list of datasets that fall within my study area. Let's try another example. Let's say I want to search for data based on the study period. You can either type in the date or use the calendar. If my study period starts on April 24th, 2014 and ends on June 16th, 2016, these are the data sets that fall within my study period. Finally, let's say I'm working on a project that requires precipitation data in Iowa. I would create a bounding box around my study area in the interactive map. Then I will go down to Science Keywords and select Precipitation. A list of datasets of precipitation data within Iowa will appear. If you already know the name of the dataset you want, you can type it here. When you see it pop up, click on it and then it will be the first one to appear.